As you know, this thing is hot. Protocol. So the rule, what brings you down to the station? We don't have all day in a full holding cell. Only three interrogation rooms, so you want to tell me why you requested me personally? It's Van Quan. I knew you were going to say that. You lost your wife, your career, everything on that dead end fucking case. What do you want to tell me? That it's different now. Very different. Different how? Last week, I was on Backpage and discovered a script under the name Alden Quinn. What the fuck does that mean? It's an anagram of his name. Okay, O'Toole. It's been real lovely. I trust you know your way out. <clears throat> what is that? It's his first film ever. Nobody was able to get any copies of these. Why the DA dropped the case? What's it called? Hey everybody in TV world, my name is Margo, and I am here with two ragtag actors. We have Jackson, he's been in a few films and served in the military. And then we have Alexander, ah, What up? he is our boy bander. I'm basically like a love child between the Backstreet Boys and uh, 98 Degrees. Nobody like 98 Degrees. What are you talking about, everybody listens to them. No they don't. Anyway. We are waiting on our director, Quentin. He has been inside with the realtor. We're just waiting for them to come out. Hi, guys. Hey. I think you're gonna love the house. I think it's perfect for your film. Mm -hmm. It's great light and there's high ceilings. Nice. I think you're gonna love it. Awesome, awesome. Thank, thank you. you. 
See, I told you. I told you. Oh, here he comes. To Quentin, the man who made it all happen. Quentin, tell us, how many films have you made? Fuck you. That's how many. Um, okay. Alrighty. Our lead isn't here yet, but we can go ahead and head inside. Yeah, right. let's go. Okay, <laughs> we, we, can, we can do this. Let's do it. Please do. Have fun, that's why it's here. You don't gotta tell me twice, man. Jackson, I'll pour your drink, come on. No, no thanks, I'm good. Dude, don't make me be the only one drinking, please. All right, man, fuck it, pour me a drink. Hell yeah, dude, that's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Hey, Quinn, you can going, we um, talk somewhere privately? Just about me giving the lead to Tara. Yeah, so can we? Go someplace. Hold on. Sure. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry about outside earlier. I can be a little obnoxious sometimes. I gave Tara the lead because I think she's better than you. There's nobody in this house that is better than me. I'm glad you think that. But out of everyone here, you are third best in the house. Okay, well. Is there something that I can do to change your mind? Do you really think that's gonna change my mind? There's a party going on outside, you should join them. Margo. Nothing will ruin the integrity of my masterpiece. It'll take a lot more than bee cups and a free piece of ass. Fuck you! Just so you know, this is me being nice. Tomorrow, during filming, you'll hate me. I promise. So, uh, did you get the lead? Fuck you. These guys, serious, the acting or whatever. <laughs> Alexander, will you come play with me? Come on. 
God, what the hell are you doing? What? You told me to. No, I didn't. What? What are you mean? Yeah, you did. Try me last night. What me? Yeah, nah, no way. Yes, you did. No, I did not. Okay, you were just drunk. All right. Besides, you're not even my type. What's your type, male? <laughs> <laughs> no, pretty. I made some changes last night. What changes? Okay. This isn't the script that we learned. Yeah, she's right. How are we supposed to remember all this? I have faith in you. Um, are we playing ourselves? Yeah, all the characters have our names. Good. Make it easy for you to remember your parts. After our names, there's blank spaces. You guys will do a little improv in those sections. Oh, I don't know if- NO! Too late to turn back now. You're all here. So let's just have fun, okay? Yeah, sure. Okay. Are you gonna tire yourself out before the shoot, man? This is how I'll prepare for the roll. Marco's pretty hot, huh? Yeah, yeah, she is. She tried to sleep with me last night. Are you serious? Yeah. Thirsty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, she does. <laughs> Hey guys! Come in. You ready for me? Yes. Alright. Go into the other room. Alright. Where's the lead, Tara? She's not here yet. So, hey, um. I noticed in the script that the character has a bad case of PTSD. Mm -hmm. Right. I struggle with it. In order for me to cope, I stay away from guns. Jackson, this is your home now, okay? And the only way to leave here is with this. You understand me? Yeah, I do. Yeah, you do what? I like looking at you. Okay, nobody asked you that. You. you asked me to come over here. No, I didn't. Go sit back down over there. What the hell is wrong with you? you want me to come Get check away! You? Yeah, you want it, huh? Seriously, what? What is wrong with you? Stop! So you want it, huh? No, stop! Yeah, Get yeah, yeah, off yeah, of you me! You wanted me all along. No, I didn't. You didn't help me. Help! Well, I'm gonna make this a threesome, huh? No, stop! Stop! Please, please, help! 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 Please, somebody help me! Help! Help! Stop! Get off! No help! Somebody help me! She's in trouble. Somebody help me! No! And then he's hurting. What are you doing? Oh my god, thank you. Thank you. Why did you let him do that to me? Whoa! Lori, wait a second. If you don't stay quiet, we'll kill you. Why are you on his side? Look out the window. 
can go out the window. <laughs> Enemies out there. And if something happens to me, I can't protect you. No. But, well, then let's just surrender. We'll just surrender. No! I know you're having a breakdown at home. But if something happens to me, I won't be here to protect you. Do you understand? Oh, let us go. Oh, let us go. Please. No. Look at me. Look at me. This isn't real. This is acting. This isn't real. This is this is all pretend. This this is what when he did all this. He said this. We're just actors, please. We're just actors. It's not real. It's not real. I'm no, please. Sorry. No. God. Off. Why? Why? Well, one night I was in my bedroom. I was overcome with emotions, thoughts. I was ready to give up on my dream of being a filmmaker. Right then, I had a vision. The vision spoke to me, Margo. It told me a story. This story. A murderer. Maybe. But you and your friends, you gave me my masterpiece. It wasn't hard finding a bunch of messed up actors. I used your weaknesses against you. I used them to shape you, bend you Do towards you my will. Plan this? He will never get away with this.